good morning students now we are going to see about the cloud computing unit 3 cloud architecture services and storage in this unit we are going to see the topic name as NIST that is NIST cloud computing reference architecture the NIST is a national institute of science and technology it defines how the cloud computing reference architecture should be there what are the details available in the architecture NIST Cloud Computing Reference Architecture It is widely accepted as a valuable contribution toward providing a clear understanding of cloud computing technologies and cloud services. It provides simple and unambiguous taxonomy of three service models which are available to cloud consumers that is cloud software as a service, cloud platform as a service and cloud infrastructure as a service. These are the basic models available for cloud services. It also summarizes four deployment models describing how the cloud computing infrastructure that delivers these services such as IAS, PAS and SAS can be shared via the public cloud, private cloud, hybrid cloud and community cloud. Finally, the NIST definition is also provides unifying view of five essential characteristics that cl all cloud services exhibit that is the uh, on-demand self-service, broad network access, resource pooling, rapid elasticity and measured services. The NIST cloud computing reference architecture focus on the requirement of what cloud services provide not uh, how to design solution and implementation. The reference architecture is intended to facilitate the understanding of the operational intricacies in cloud computing. It does not represent the system architecture of a specific cloud computing system. Instead, it is a tool for describing, discussing and developing a system specific architecture using a common framework of reference. And this is the NIST cloud cloud architecture in this cloud architecture they are using five services that is a cloud consumer cloud provider cloud broker cloud auditor and cloud carrier these are the five essential services provided in the NIST cloud computing architecture in cloud consumer usually the consumer is ours and cloud auditor the role of the cloud auditor is audit security audit privacy impact audit performance audit and cloud provider the cloud provider is providing a cloud based on these services via service layers SAS PAS and IAS and cloud service management business support provisioning and configuration portability and interoperability and there are some physical resource layer available in the cloud provider that is a hardware layer and facility resource abstraction and cloud and control layer then cloud broker he is the main part in the NIST cloud computing architecture he provide a service intermediation services between cloud consumer and cloud provider and service aggregation service arbitration and cloud finally the cloud carrier and the above figure we shown the overview of the NIST cloud computing reference architecture and the above five is the identifies as the major actors and we are going to see their activities and functions in cloud computing the five major actors in NIST cloud computing reference architectures are cloud consumer cloud provider cloud carrier cloud auditor and cloud broker before we going to see the brief first we just saw the what is the actor role and the definition and cloud consumer the cloud consumer is a person or organization it maintains the business relationship with and uses services from cloud providers so cloud consumer must work with the help of cloud providers and cloud provider cloud provider is a person organization or entity it's responsible for making its service available to interested parties cloud auditor this is the party that conduct independent assessment of cloud services information system operations performance and security of the cloud implementation and cloud broker he is the he is an entity that manages the use performance and delivery of cloud services and negotiate the relationship between cloud providers and cloud consumers 
and finally a cloud carrier that is an intermediary that provides connectivity that's connectivity and transport of cloud services from provider to consumers and cloud consumer he is the principal stakeholders for the cloud computing services already we saw the definition he may be a person or organization maintain a business relationship for how the cloud consumer find the cloud provider process the service catalog from the cloud provider and request the appropriate service what the user need and set up service contract with the cloud provider and uses this service the cloud consumer may be billed for the service provision and need to arrange payments accordingly and cloud consumer also need a service level agreement to specify the technical performance requirements fulfilled by the cloud cloud provider the service level agreement can cover terms regarding the qas quality of service security and performance failure remedies for performance failures and cloud provider may also list in the service level agreement a set of promises explicitly not made to consumer that is the limitation and obligation that cloud consumer must accept a cloud consumer freely choose a cloud provider with a better pricing and more favorable terms there are a lot of cloud providers available google amazon ibm and based on the user requirement the cloud consumer choose the cloud Typically, in the cloud provider pricing policy and SLAs are non-negotiable. The pricing policy is non-negotiable. The user accepts the price policy and uses the services from the cloud provider. Depending on the services requested, the activities and usage scenarios can be different among cloud consumers. And in SAS application, the cloud made accessible via SAS consumers. The consumer of SAS can be organization. that provide the member with access to a software application that is software as a service application the member will be a software applicant and the end user who directly use software application or software application administration administrator to configure application for end users and yes in sas consumer the cloud service the user pay the bill based on the number of end users how many users use the sas services and the time of use the network bandwidth they consumed and the amount of data stored or duration of stored data and next one is a pas in pas the cloud why they are going to pas to develop test deploy and manage the application hosted in cloud environment in pas the consumer can be an application developer application tester and application deployers and application administrator in pas the billing according to processing database storage and network resources consumed by pas application and duration of platform usage similarly infrastructure as a service has access to virtual computer because this is a infrastructure so they need a virtual computer and network accessible storage network infrastructure components and other fundamental computing resources which can deploy and run arbitrary software in ias the consumer will be a system developer system administrators and it managers they are in this uh, ias the billing based on the amount or duration of the resource consumed such as cpu hours used by virtual computer volume and duration of data stored network bandwidth consumed and the number of ip addresses used for certain intervals these are the concept in cloud consumer next we are going to see about the cloud provider the cloud provider in the previous definition is see it is a person or an organization and it is an entity responsible for making a service available to interested parties the cloud provider acquire and manage the computing infrastructure record for providing the services runs the cloud software that provide the services and makes arrangement to deliver the cloud services to the cloud consumers and below is the cloud provider major activity the major activities for cloud provider is service deployment service orchestration cloud services management security and privacy these are the major activities the cloud providers provided in the nast reference architecture for sas the cloud provider provide deploy configure maintain and updates the operation of the software application for pas the cloud provider manage the computing infrastructure for the platform and runs the cloud software the pas cloud consumer has control over the application and possibly some the hosting environment settings 
but has no or limited access to the IAAS. For IAAS, the cloud provider accuses the physical computing resources underlying service including the servers, networks, storage and hosting infrastructure. The cloud provider activities described in five major areas which are also shown in the previous figure. And third one is the cloud auditor. Cloud auditor is a party that can perform an independent examination of cloud service controls with the intent to express an opinion thereon. Auditor performed to verify conformance to standard through review of objective evidence. The cloud auditor can evaluate the services provided by a cloud provider in terms of security control. The main reason for audit is security control and user data which will be available to all the user that is it affects the privacy and performance etc. The auditing is especially important for federal agency as agencies should include the contractual class enabling third parties to assess security control of cloud provider. Security controls are the management, operation and technical safeguard of countermeasures employed within organization information system to protect the confidentiality, integrity and availability of the system and its information. For security auditing, a cloud auditor can make an assessment of the security controls in the information system to determine the extent to which the controls are implemented correctly, operating as intended and producing the desired outcome with respect to the security requirement of the system. For example, an auditor can be tasked with ensuring the correct policies are applied to data retention according to the relevant tool for the jurisdiction. And fourth one is a cloud broker. As cloud computing evolves, the integration of cloud services can be too complex for cloud consumer to manage. So a cloud consumer may request cloud service from a cloud broker instead of contacting a cloud provider directly. A cloud broker is an entity that manages the use, performance and delivery of cloud services and negotiate relationship between cloud provider and cloud consumers. In general, a cloud broker can provide services in three categories. The first one is service intermediation and second one is service aggregation and service arbitrage. In service intermediation, in service intermediation, a cloud broker enhances the given service by improving some specific capability and providing value added services to cloud consumer. In service aggregation, a cloud broker combines and integrate multiple services into one or new services. In service arbitrage, it is similar to service aggregation except that service being aggregated or not fixed. Service arbitrage means the broker has the flexibility to choose services from multiple agency instead of single agency. And last one is a cloud carrier that is a connection and transport. A cloud carrier acts as an intermediary that provides connectivity and transport of cloud services between cloud consumers and cloud providers. And cloud carrier provide access to consumer through network, telecommunication and other access devices. The distribution of cloud services is normally provided by network and telecommunication carriers or a transport agent where a transport agent refers to a business organization that provides physical transport of storage media such as high capacity and hard drives. Thank you.